Let's continue in OTP. This is a ventilator, inspiratory limb, expiratory limb, and ET tube. And let's say this is a ventilator at the end of inspiration. So the alveolar pressure now, let's say, is at 20. And the pressure in the proximal airway is equivalent to the applied PEEP, which is provide, which is the pressure, positive pressure provided by the ventilator during expiration. Let's say PEEP is plus five. And let's assume what happened. Now the expir this went to 10 and before it reached to five, the expiration terminated prematurely. This is, as is we said, represent an extra pressure of positive five above the applied PEEP by the ventilator. And because it's coming from the ventilator, we call it extrinsic PEEP. These plus five, we give them a name of O2 PEEP or intrinsic PEEP because it's happening from inside. So it's 10 minus five, it's plus five. How do we check for that? Please pause the video yourself and think how possibly you could check for that and come back. Okay, so we'll come back. Hopefully you could figure that out. So simply the alveolar pressure now is at 10, right? And the expression terminated. And it's above the PEEP, the applied or extrinsic PEEP by plus five. We need to allow the ventilator to sense and measure the pressure at that moment. How? Simply need to seize all kind of flow and give a little bit of time for the pressure of the alveoli to be distributed and become equivalent all over the place. So, if the expiration terminated, simply at the end of expiration, we close this valve. And right before this give any pressure, positive pressure to start the flow in, because simply the flow will continue. And remember, the reason at the end of expiration, we stop this, because if, if we don't close this valve, the air will keep flowing because still there is a pressure gradient. So we close this valve. Now the air will seize and the flow out will seize in. The ventilator has not given any positive pressure to reverse the flow back in and give it a little bit time, give it a pause. The pressure will equilibrate and the sensors here will measure the alveolar pressure at that point. At that point. This is what we call expiratory pause maneuver. And it's to measure. Now this measured pressure is equivalent to the alveolar pressure and if the measured alveolar pressure when performing the expiratory pause maneuver is higher than extrinsic peep or applied peep this one then the patient has positive o2 peep or intrinsic PEEP. So that's to confirm it. There is also, um, sometimes if you look at the waveform, you may suspect that, that the patient having auto PEEP. This is, let's say the flow, we have a decelerating ramp. And this is the expiration start here. Let me just put a green light or yellow. Let's do it. This is the expiration normally should reach the baseline and then the expiration will start but in all two people what's, what what happens is simply this will be like this but because the expiration terminated properly it will not reach the baseline and will start the expiration We'll start again 
and the same thing can happen if you look at the ventilator and you see this this is a sign of auto -peep. another sign as i said if you listen to the patient and you continue to hear flow out until the ventilator push the another breath then that's another sign of auto -peep.